Hi, this is Kerry trying the Crazy Craft Challenge. I saw Louisa Heinzel and Pam at the Paper Outpost doing it and I laughed so hard. So yes, I'm actually going to try to make a junk journal uh, clusters while wearing this blindfold. <laughs> so I um, am a beginner. I should tell you I am a rank beginner. I make my own journals as of just a few weeks ago but they're really rustic and rough see so um, I am hoping you know just butcher's paper or whatever I'm hoping that I can make some pretty stuff so that they look prettier and I downloaded some digi kits from both Louisa and Pam and this one's Pam's and this one's uh, from Louise's. And I chose these two papers um, because I want to start adding in some colour because my notebooks are memory aids. I have a memory problem. So really they're like um, a, a brain problem in general. Um, a commonplace notebook. So they have everything in there including boring stuff like bills and uh, so I want some pretty things to go in there just to make it all nice so in addition to these two pages I've got a box of scraps of things um, including this is quite a pretty uh, what do you call it so this is why I don't make videos anymore, I can't find words. Uh, a pretty napkin, which I've already separated. So in here are the white bits that came off the back. And I thought it would be a fun challenge if I just fold it all up. So that way I won't know if I'm getting a pretty piece or a... Um, shove them in there. Or a coloured piece. And I'm going to tear this, oh, sad as it is, I'm going to tear this so that I can't see whether, I won't know whether I'm getting a digi kit piece or, oh, right through the flower, or some other piece of paper. So I'll just make sure that I start with one piece of each All right. and I've got some bits of fabric they're not cut to size so I have some handy dandy scissors right here and I'm just going to be really careful and I uh, don't have any bling but I have these a few little words uh, it would be handy if they were all facing up Okay, just a few little bits of things. Um, stapler, my scissors, and some tacky craft glue. This is uh, my favourite so far from Study Mate, just at Office Works. So I'll start with these out so that I know. Uh, that I include at least one from one piece from each of these things. Ah, all right. This goes. This was a gift from my kids. Isn't it cute? Um, so, glasses off and blindfold on. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Right? Like genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, I have no idea. But. Blindfold's on, and I'm going to do this with wild abandon. <laughs> See, it's funny already. Um, all right, five clusters, that's the deal. So, I know I've got the straight edges off this one. Do you know what? It actually really didn't look that hard when I saw it in the video. <laughs> it just looked funny. Um, 
but it's actually hard. Right. <laughs> okay, I have two two base pieces. I'm going to I'm going to take an approach from each of them. I noticed that uh, Louisa put out five things. Uh, this has got a flat edge on it. Um, and did them sort of in a batch kind of way. And uh, if memory serves correctly, which it frequently doesn't, um, Pam did one at a time. Oh, here's, here's one bit of the... Uh, napkin, I think. Um, so I'm going to just do whatever I think, but because I've got a piece of napkin, I'll just hold that separate. Um, here's paper. So this is number three. This is really good therapy for me, I think, because I have to count and I have to use sensors other than... One, two, three. Other than, uh, what is that? Wait, one, two, three. Okay, we've got four. Four now, four. Um, I don't know, whatever I was saying. Oh, yes, I have to... Um, have to use other senses which is apparently going to be really good for good kind of therapy for my memory because um, I'm not taking in enough information apparently so there we go if I can just train my senses again so here we have five all right well one piece of paper for five Oh, this is a different texture. Uh, so, as you can probably um, tell, I don't... Oh, wait. Alright, that's two. Maybe I should just do one at a time this is going to get uh, difficult. Right. One, two, three. And I had this. How about I put four bits on each one and staple it and a word. Oh, I can't even figure out what I'm doing with this. Oh, my stapler. Oh. Okay. Oh, now I want to. Is it all on? Yes. I want to glue. Uh, a little word on here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get. But I do ha have paper towel. Uh, come on, glue. Are you there? Oh, shiver. Uh, words. Uh, whatever this is. It look, feels big. Maybe it's. Oh, maybe it's not a word. I think this is one. I think this is the first one. All right, I'll just put it in a pile. Then um, I've got glue on my thumb. So where's another one here? Anyone will do. Oh. Oh, 
there we go. Oh, glue on that hand too. One, two. Oh, any me, money, mo. This one. Um, one, two. Here's a stringy one. Four. Did I say I was going to do four and a thing? Or. Uh, how do I know? This is so smooth. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. There are bricklayers underneath my house. Mm, glue. Oh, I lost. oh, here's my glue. It's, oh, yeah. Man, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. And now, how do I know if the word is up the right way? Or Oh, my thumb's stuck on the thing. Or not. Well, oh, that's still sticky. There's two. What's the... Oh. All right. Here's, here's one. This must be number three. I forgot about fabric. Ah, oh. now this is definitely a lacy thing because I can feel the holes in it. But I don't know if it's the. Uh, ow, ew, there's a big lump of glue. <laughs> the scissors. Here we go. I don't know if it's the white one or if it's. Um, a cream one. I know I have two. I'll just put these here because it's easier. Oh, is this the one with two bits on it? Oh, yes. That's that's a little bit. So we'll put this one here. Put this one here. Three. There's something like the from the bottom. I don't know what this is, obviously. Uh, Oh, probably my hands are just not in the right frame. I put this black, um, this is just the bottom out of a shopping bag. I put that there so I could um, try to stay in frame, but um, I haven't been paying attention. I'm not going to stick my finger in the glue this time because <laughs> I'm all gummy already. All right, there is another one there's another one oh that's fabric that's so that that's three i think three um let's let's get oh this is interesting texture Let's get some more fabric. Uh, this feels different to the other one, but I still think it's lacy. I just recently got uh, um, a haul of excuse me a haul of um, lace well I don't know if you call it a haul because it's just uh, am I sticking this on the one I was doing or another one oh wait yes that, that feels familiar I don't know what this is though because it's weird 
don't know. Let's use it. <laughs> uh, all right. So stapler. Um, yeah. So I don't know if it, if you'd call it a haul. It was just like, oh shiver. Um, a curtain and a bit of lace from. Uh, what do you call it? It's called Vinnie's. So if you're not in Australia, that's a St. Vincent de Paul's sort of secondhand shop. So people make donations and then they go buy, uh, what am I after this one? Buy uh, clothes and bits and pieces and um, the money raised goes to the charities. Ah, all right, so one, I'm pretty sure there are three here. That means there's one, ah, yep, yeah, there's one more piece of, this is the last one. Uh, dig, 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 round in the bottom. Oh, this feels different. Oh, it's got a scrubbly bit. It's either from a packaging envelope or um, something like that. It's really firm. Um, there's something a bit different. Something it's just not normal paper. This this is, oh, there's my cord. I hope I haven't knocked the camera off angle. Um, yeah, so it, it's totally weird to be making a video after so long, like to start with, after so long. But also, it's not about scams. <laughs> this is so much more fun. Um, oh, wait. That's the lacy one. I've used that before. Yeah, so it's been a long, long, long time since I've made any videos, uh, obviously. Um, I, oh, I know what this is. This is a cottony. I don't have very many things, so, you know, it's not that hard for me to guess. I think this is... Um, uh, cotton tape thing for making uh, furnishings and stuff like you would put in the shoulders of a garment I think that's what it is um, so oh yeah anyway this is my first video in in since 2020 um, and I'm enjoying it I enjoyed the setup um, finding my microphone and tripod and things it was just fun and I thought gee I'd like to do that again you know um, so we'll see we'll see all right is this the last I think I just knocked something over and I don't know what it was oh this would be impossible to tell which side is the word so I'm just going to stick it on If it turns out it's blank, I'll just write something on it. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter what they look like. It's all going to be an improvement on my very functional uh, books, which are not as arty as I want them to be. Microphone, uh, not the microphone. This is called a blindfold. It's still on and I'm taking it off right now. <gasps> Actually, wait, I can't see yet. got some words up the right way oh I don't know what this orange thing is <laughs> that <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a word on the other side oh that was a nice one that was one with a book it said it said book on it but I can't rip it off now never mind um, I love reading it's been a long time since I've read a book too oh that's a pretty little leaf in there 
I like that. Oh, this is upside down. I'm sorry, Louisa. <laughs> oh, I will make some more with the... Oh, here's another piece. Here's another piece. Oh, I like this one. Oh, how good is that? Oh, this is one of the neurographic uh, drawings that I just do every now and again. They're so easy. It takes no talent, no inspiration. It's awesome. What else have we got? We've got this, this butterfly turned up the right way up. I've got some DigiKit showing. I really like this one. When the glue dries, it'll be, um, it'll be really good. I like that. Ew. Uh, <laughs> and this one represents me and my brain. Page not found. I actually really like that too. Now, what is this orange? Is it cheating to take that orange string off? You can tell I've been watching too many craft videos because I'm calling this string. Thank you, Pam. It's not string, it's uh, embroidery floss. Yeah, so I, I've been using that to, um, I put wax on it and use it to bind my uh, notebooks that I've only just started making. Also, thanks to Pam. And I really like this. It's got a bit of, um, uh, Pam at the Paper Outposts DG kit in there. Two bits by the look, I think. If I recognise that correctly. Or well, this might be a bit of Louise's. Um, but I really like this one too. It's very, very messy. But it's colourful and it's irreverent. And it kind of kind of suits what I'm aiming for. Oh, this is upside down, whatever this is. Oh, that's another bit of Neurograph. Never mind, it doesn't matter if it's upside down. I'll just glue it in better so it doesn't fall out. There we go. That was, I didn't laugh as much doing it. I laughed so hard watching other people do it. Um, and I saw that there's a playlist on Louise's channel with lots and lots, there were 77 videos. So that's just lots of people doing the crazy craft challenge. So I will try to put a link to that playlist in the description, plus a link just to um, Pam at the Paper Outposts channel generally and to Louisa Heinzel's channel generally. So you can have a look around because they're both awesome. And um, I hope this was as interesting for you <laughs> as it was for me. I really had a good time doing this and it's going to, uh, it, it has motivated me to want to do more stuff like this so that my journals look more interesting. Can't wait to get stuck into it. Bye.